So right out of the bat, you get three potions of alchemy. You get, let's see, a mana potion, a healing potion, and a rejuvenation potion. So your coastal mana potion is seven river buds <laughs> and some crystal vials, which is fair enough. Uh, the healing potion is Siren's Pollen and some vials. And the rejuvenation potion, which does both, requires both. It requires two of each. So that's fairly straightforward. Oh, I keep saying, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, we do, we do that a lot. Um, train me in alchemy. So let's see what you get as well. So basically, the only thing you get in alchemy at level one is healing potions, essentially. What do you get after that? At 25, you get Dermot's Draft of Deception. You gain invisibility for six seconds, which requires Sand Shifter and Sea Stalk. Then you also get uh, the Endless Tincture of Renewed Combat, which is a trinket. So alchemists can make trinkets now. Um, Okay, so your trinket is versatility. Looks like it can be used by anyone, so you can, yeah, it's BOE, so you can you can make and sell those. Requires two expulsium, 20 sirens pollen, and 20 river blood. River bud. Uh, light foot potion increases movement speed, so that one's probably going to be a decent one as well. Straight off the bat, when people are rushing to level. Which requires star moss. And star moss, I think, can be harvested fairly close to Zandlar as well, so that could be a good, good one to get in on. Um, potion of Concealment um, hides the Embiler from detection as long as they're standing still. So that's basically like the Stealth Man from Engineering, but it's made with Siren's Pollen. Sea Mist Potion turns the Embiler into a cloud, allowing them to fall from great heights and float over water surfaces. So basically it's like a slow fall and a water walking potion wrapped into one. So again, that's a very useful, useful potion to have stacked up, especially at the start of an X-Pack before things like flying are introduced. So that could be a big seller, guys. It's called the um, Sea Mist Potion. Siren's Alchemist Stone is again a trinket. This one can only can be used um, for transmutations in place of a Philosopher's Stone. So that's gonna be your upgraded, um, your upgraded Philosopher's Stone, essentially. I think they've given you one every expansion pack with them. With this, increases the effects of healing and mana potions. Um, and different bits and pieces like that. Requires 20 sea stock, 20 star moss, and 2 expulsium. Fairly straightforward to make. Potions of bursting blood. Um, imbues your blood with heat for 25 seconds, giving your melee attacks a chance to create a burst of blood, dealing uh, 2,465 physical damage, split evenly among all nearby enemies. Okay, so basically it's like a, like a buff, but a potion. Time you say siren, it sounds like you're saying Simon. <laughs> Potion of replenishment um, puts the imbiler in an elevated state of focus where they can restore up to 5,000 mana over 10 seconds um, until they're focused, but they are defenseless until their focus is broken. 10 star moss and 15 sirens pollen. Potion of rising death empowers you with the shadow magic for 25 seconds, giving your ranged attack chance to send out a death bolt that grows in intensity as it travels dealing up to 4,000 shadow damage. That's quite interesting. Would that be useful in a lot of places though? Your, your person you're um, shooting it at with a potion uh, would need to be far away for it to be have you know maximum effect. But it's interesting. Steel skin potion, steel skin potion infuses your body with resilient energy, increasing your armor. So that's a fairly stra straightforward one. So those are all a level 40. You also get an upgrade for the three basic ones that you got at level 40. Hey, oh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name, and it's also in like really bright turquoise, so I can't even read it today. Hang on. Lejania? Lejania? I'm so bad at that one. Welcome to the stream, though. I'm so excited, pretty much. Um, okay, and then at 50, you get Battle Potion of Agility. So these are going to be your, um, your initial level of uh, battle potions, like elixirs and things. So Battle Potion of Agility increases your agility. 15 Sirens Pollen, 10 Rivers Blood, so that doesn't seem too bad. It, intellect, Stamina and Strength. So you've got your basics there. Agility, Intellect, Stamina and Strength. Then at level 50 as well, you also get your first Transmute. And I like this because it's not, you don't have to make stuff to unlock it. 
you don't have to you know do your wild transmute and then maybe maybe you'll happen to get the one that's going to be useful for you thank you very much for the bits being um you know that's what's getting me about the current system is because you do the wild transmute and you discover a transmute but it could be you know the useless one you know it might not be the one i'm off for work have a good day all right have a good day cat um, it might not be one that's useful to you so in this in this scenario basically once you hit um skill level 50 you can just learn them you can just learn the transmutes and you can do whatever transmute you want to do guys i'm so so happy with how this system how they what they've done with the system so you transmute cloth the skins um you need tide spray linen and deep deep sea satin and you transfer that into skins you've got fish to gems herbs to cloth none of these make sense but they don't have to i guess so skins cloth to skins fish to gems herbs to cloth herbs to ore or meat to pet what transmute meat into a pet what quivering sack binds when picked up unique duration seven days a quivering mass of transmuted meat guys that sounds really really interesting <laughs> meat to pet <laughs> so you take you take a stack of meat <laughs> and you make it yeah there's a meat to pet in legion seriously what i've never i this is this is what i mean like my alchemist is an alt so he just did not get doing any legion content professions uh the pet is worth a small fortune if you get the rare one okay so meat to pet continues to be a thing there you go transmute ore to cloth you get these all at level 50 transmute ore to gems it's not just prospecting transmute ore to herbs guys that's a lot that's a lot of options and at level 50 you can just learn all of those options and do whatever transmute you like i'm so i'm so 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 happy i'm so happy i'm gonna get all my all my alchemists in here doing these straight away okay so then at level 50 you also get upgrades for you know those little um pots of the, the original one the concealment and the deception and the same mist. you get your rank twos of all of those at um at 60 you get your rank twos of the um the trinket and the and the bursting blood and you know, and then those ones light foot potion oh potion of herb tracking so once you've got your light foot potion, which is the one that um, allow basically like the stealth man one, if you have that, then you can um, use this. So this is your potion of herb tracking. Chances to bring back herbs from successful missions. So that's your like your champion's equipment thing. Potion of replenishment is your um, potion of replenishment by an elevated state one. So it's an upgrade for that, and then you get an upgrade for your your rank up for your rising death, rank up for your um, alchemist stone rank up for your um steel skin potion and then at 75 you get the next rank of your battle potions uh i think it's sold for 20k which is good level one yeah that's pretty good for level one uh so you get your rank up of your battle potions and then at 80 80 you get endless tincture of factional power which is another trinket the surging alchemist stone which is um uh, like an up an, a new a second and like a second level version of the um it's not it's not an upgrade it's not a rank up but it's um a better stone um flask of endless fathoms increases intellect for an hour so these are your elixirs then at, eight, at level 90 you get your elixirs so you've got uh fathoms currents undertow and vast horizons they're you know your four basic stats then you get a rank up of your um a rank up of that trinket, a rank up of the improved stone, transmute expulsium. You can just learn from the trainer. You just have to be 110, 110 to do it. And you have to have learned flask of the flask of the currents, which is one of your elixirs. So basically you can transmute 10 Akunda's bite, 10 winter's kiss and three anchors weed, anchor weed into expulsium, which seems pretty fair. That seems really reasonable. Any word if um, ranking up, for, nope, no reps. Any word if the if any rank up for any profession will require what do you mean Shovik? Um because all of these are just from your vendor. None of these are locked behind reps. You see here it says 
uh, requires Zandalari Alchemy, which we've got. It requires you to be 100 points in it, and it requires you to have the first rank of the thing, but it doesn't require you to have any professions, any, any reps. So all of these rank ups you can learn from your trainer with no rep. Uh, Transmute Expulsium, so then you've got your rank ups for your um your elixirs are there at, at 115 and then at uh, 145 you can make your cauldron. Um, are they rank 3 from the... oh it might be. Yeah, a few you can buy for honor tokens and stuff, yeah. It seems to me that you can get all the rank 1s and all the rank 2s from the professions and you might need to go to the vendor reps to get the, the third rank up. But they're all open to you. You'll have all, you'll just, you know, you'll have it. You'll just have to spend a slight bit more maths to, to make it. But yeah, you can get up to rank two just from your vendors. And then you get your mystical cauldron here, which is, you know, requires four of all the other, four of all the other, all your elixir flasks and five expulsium and a hydro core. Bind, binds to a count as well. So you can make those and send those to your main, which is pretty useful binds to account so yeah and that is alchemy friends that is what alchemy looks like in um bfa <laughs>